Hi everyone, today we'll be learning about the topic number theory. Now number theory is a pretty long topic so we divide it in small parts. So the very first topic in the other small parts is divisibility rules. Now divisibility is a useful property of whole numbers. For example, 4 divides 8, 5 divides 25, right? So this sign is used for the word divides like 30 over 5 so this sign is used for the word divides okay so 5 divides 30 we get the answer 6 now if a division produces a remainder other than 0 then the numbers are not divisible suppose we take a number 32 divided by 5 so this will give us a remainder 2 so this number is not divisible by 5. That means 32 is not divisible by 5 because it's giving us a remainder 2. Now there are certain divisibility rules. The first divisibility rules is divisibility by 2. So the very first is divisibility by 2. How can we find that a number is divisible by 2 or not? So the rule says a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So if any number having a last digit 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, that means that number is divisible by 2. Suppose if we take example 4, 3, 2, 0. Oh. Suppose we have this number, so we want to find that this number is divisible by 2 or not, right? So this is having 0 as the last digit. So the rule says if a number having 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 as the last digit, so this number is divisible by 2. So this number 4320 is having 0 as the last digit so that means this is divisible by 2 now we come to the second rule second rule is divisibility by 3 divisibility by 3 now how can we find that a number is divisible by 3 or not so there we have a simple rule any number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 like we take the same number 4 3 2 0 oh. now we just add the digits 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 oh. okay so we get 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 and plus 0 oh is 9 again so 9 so 9 now this sum of the digits is divisible by 3 or not so 9 is divisible by 3 so we get 3 so that means the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 so this whole number 4320 is divisible by 3 okay so this was a rule for divisibility by 3 now we come to the third rule that is divisibility by 4 now we want to find that a number is divisible by 4 or not so we have a simple rule for this a number is divisible by 4 the number represented by its last two digits is divisible by 4 suppose we take the same example the same number 4 3 2 0 now we want to find that this number is divisible by 4 or not so we take the last two digits last two digits is 20 now we see that 20 is divisible by 4 or not so we get 5 and the remainder is 0 that means 20 is divisible by 4 so according to the rule if the last two digits are divisible by 4 that means the whole number 4320 is divisible by 4 so 4320 is divisible by 4 because the last two digits 
is divisible by 4. Now the next rule is divisibility by 5. All right. So let's see how can we find a number is divisible by 5 or not. So we have a rule for this. A rule says a number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is 0 or 5. So if we take the same example again, 4, 3, 2, 0. Now this is having the last digit 0. So the rule says if the last digit is 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. So in our example, we have the last digit as 0. So that means this is divisible by 5. Now the next rule is divisibility by 6. Now how can we find that a number is divisible by 6 or not? So the rule says a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and by 3. Right? So do we take the same example 4, 3, 2, 0. Now if this number is divisible by 2 or 3, that means this is divisible by 6. Now we've already proved that this number is divisible by 2 and 3. That means this number is divisible by 6 because we have already proved that this number is divisible by 2 and 3 both. So this number is divisible by 6. Now the next rule is divisibility by 7. Right? So right not divisible by 7 let's take it 8 so divisibility by 8 so a number is divisible by 8 if and only if the number of its last three digits is divisible by 8 suppose we take the same example now that we see the last three digits last three digits is 320 now we we got to find that 320 is divisible by 8 or not so 320 8 times 1 is 8 8 times 4 is 32 and we have 0 so that means we get 40 so this is clear that 320 is divisible by 8 so the last three digits of this number is divisible by 8 that means the whole number 4320 is divisible by 8 okay so the next rule is divisibility by 9. Now the rule says a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 9 just as we have for 3. So we take the same example 4, 3, 2, 0. Oh, okay and the sum of the digits is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0. Oh. Sum of the digits is 9. So if 9 is divisible by 9, that means this number is divisible by 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1. Okay, so remainder is 0. That means this number is divisible by 9. Okay, so now the last rule. The last rule says divisibility by 10. If we have the last digit of any number 0, so the number is divisible by 10. We take the same example again. So the last digit is 0 over here. So that means this number according to rule is divisible by 10. 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 Divisible by 10.